How much has NIL changed the landscape for the draft? Oof. I mean, significantly. Right? I mean, that's that's even an understatement. I, I think that there's there was once a time where there were players who declared for the draft knowing that they weren't ready because they just had to. They had to 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 be able to earn money to put you know, to help their families. It wasn't just about them, whether they had, you know, parents, siblings, kids, whatever the case may be. I, I'm not going to say names, but I know that has been a talking point even in even in recent drafts. And the NIL market right now is so significant. Um, it, it's hard to verify what these numbers are, whether they have contracts or not. Like, um, I think this Florida case is going to be very interesting and, and going to be an important precedent in terms of locking in these numbers. Uh, that's, of course, on the football side, but it's going to have ramifications in basketball. But the bottom line is, is that right now, these these players who are on the bubble, if they're if they view themselves as probable second round picks, the likely two way deals that that a two way deal is a non guaranteed, which is the part nobody talks about, just over 500 grand. I think. The vast majority of these guys, I'm operating under the assumption that they are going to get a bigger dollar amount by going back to college. Because I think that when you hear about some of these NIL numbers that are being tossed around, oftentimes they are higher than that for the highest level players. And make no mistake about it, the guys we're talking about who are going back to school right now, they are highest level players. Um, so I, I think it's changed it dramatically. I think you would see five to 10 more players stay in this draft if it weren't for NIL, um, that have now gone back to college. So I think it's a good thing, um, because it, it helps college basketball. I think ultimately it helps these, these kids too, because they are in situations where they can, they can stay and develop and not have to rush to the NBA because another thing that people don't talk about KP and, and, and you know, this better than, than anyone, like, some of these G League teams are a mess. Like you, you don't want to go hang out in these G League teams where you don't have the daily support that maybe you have in a college program. And I, I mean, like away from the basketball, like learning how to be, uh, you know, a, a mature adult twenty four hours a day. I mean, that's that's part of the process that I think is the NBA is still, and certainly it varies by franchise, still trying to figure out in a lot of these G League situations. So. Um, I think a lot of these kids are fortunately now because of NIL in a situation where they can go back to college, make more money than they otherwise would have, at least this year, and be in a spot where they can um, better develop and be prepared to handle the professional lifestyle whenever they get there. Yes. Very well said, Fink. Always, always an expert on... There's no counterpoint here. 